Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a new beautiful geometry math problem. That is here we have given a circle and there is a triangle inside the circle. These two sides of the triangle are equal which are 5 units and this side is different. Here we have to find out the radius of this circle. Now how can we solve this math problem? There are different methods to solve this problem but here we will use one of the easiest method. So first of all let us suppose this is our triangle a b c and here we will draw a perpendicular from this point a to this side b c now after drawing the perpendicular let us suppose this is our point d now according to the symmetry here this perpendicular a d will cut this chord into two equal parts two equal segments so here the length of this b c is six units so what will be the length of this b d and b c this will be three units both now we will try to find out this one side this one perpendicular so here we will try to use the Pythagoras theorem to find out this perpendicular and triangle ABD so here we will apply the Pythagoras theorem and triangle ABD so by Pythagoras theorem This hypotenuse square will be equal to base square plus perpendicular square. So this will become our hypotenuse is AB. So this will become AB square is equal to BD square plus AD square. Here we will try to find out the value of AD. So we substitute the value of AB and BD here. So the value of AD is 5. So this will become 5 square bd is 3 so this will become 3 square plus ad is not known this is 25 this is 9 plus ad square here we will move this to the left hand side so this will become the value of this ad square will become 25 minus 9 now 25 minus 9 is 16 so therefore the value of AD square is 16. Here we will take square root on both sides. So this will become AD is equal to square root of 16 is simply 4. So here the length and the value of AD is 4 units. So therefore this perpendicular AD will be 4 units. Now what we will do next? Next we here we will expand this perpendicular AD such that it connects with circle. Now after expanding the perpendicular let us suppose this is point E. Remember that here this perpendicular AD divides this BC into two equal parts, two equal segments. So here this perpendicular will be must pass it through the center of this circle. Let us suppose this is our center of this circle. So let us suppose this is O. Now here we will try to find out this one length DE. So for that, to find out this length here we will use a chord rule. Chord rule. Now this chord rule states that if any circle if we have two chords then the head the product of two segments of one chord will be equal to the product of two segments of another chord. So here in this circle we have two chords chord AE and chord BC. So therefore we can write from here here the product of AD times DE or ED will be equal to bd times dc so let's substitute the values from here from the figure here the value of ad is 4 units de is not given we have to find out this value bd is 3 units and dc is also 3 units so we substitute these values here the value of ad is 4 units this ed or de is not given so we will write this is the same bd is 3 units and this is also 3 units so this is 4 times ed is equal to 3 times 3 is 9 let's divide both sides by 4 so here the value of ed will become 9 by 4 units so this is the value of ed so here this value ed is 9 by 4 units 
Now look at to this one figure here. This A is the diameter of this circle. Since we have to find out the radius of this circle, so part it here we will di divide this diameter by two. So therefore here the diameter of this circle is, which is A E, this is equal to A D plus D E. Here the value of A D is four units and D E is nine by four. So let us sum of these two. So this is four plus nine by four. Now this is one and four gives him four LCM. This will become four times four is sixteen. Sixteen plus nine. Sixteen plus nine is twenty-five divided by four. So here the value of this A E is twenty-five by four units, which is the diameter of this circle. Now for radius here we will divide this diameter by two. So here the radius of this circle. Will become diameter divided by two. Now diameter is twenty-five by four divided by two. So next we can write this as twenty-five by two, and this can be written as times one by two. So here twenty-five times twenty-five. Sorry, this is four. So four times two is eight. So this will become twenty-five by eight. And dividing twenty-five by eight, it gives him about three point one two five. So finally, the radius of the circle in this figure is three point one two five units. So this is our required answer and required target. So finally, the radius of this circle AO is three point one two. Five units, which is our required target. Now, and last, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.